inspired by a painting which is all fairly one color, different tones of one color. And I uh, wanted to incorporate different kinds of flowers with different textures. So there's some protea, there are calla lilies, there's something called monkey's paw, and uh, some uh, stock lilies, I just and some yarrow at the bottom. I had a wonderful time doing it. And the thing that's fun about arranging uh, inspired by a painting is you, can, you can't copy it exactly, but you can kind of you interpret it in flowers. So I had fun doing it. I wanted to make sure that the color was right and that it reflected the gradation of color in the work itself. So the, the white little white flowers are supposed to be the waves and you'll see some, some darker sticks that are the people um, and the, the ground is very dark in the, in the painting and that's what this ground color of yarrow is. So you just, I was just trying to reflect the color and the movement within the painting. This is, this is yarrow, which is usually seen in, in yellow, but this is a, a different color of yarrow. These are uh, called pincushion proteria, which I love because they're so funny looking and they're very different flowers. These are calla lilies, again in that wonderful kind of rusty, browny, orangey color. Here is some stock. These are called monkey paws, which I think are kind of a surprise because they're, the shape is so different from the rest of the flowers. And yeah, I tried to especially incorporate the color. The color was, to me, very important. But you see, I have the colors as the painting shows. Yes, yes, these are lilies and car carnations and delphinium and uh, grape hyacinth, that little tiny one. And the, this is um, a calla lily and the yellow ones are snapdragons. These are the people. The color is augmented from the, the painting here. And um, the idea is that you've got to get movement. You need movement in this. And so the movement is depicted by the points here that come at the back. And the fact that we start off high and we have the angles coming down like that to give the feeling of swiftness, speed or whatever. Well, the flowers represented, um, these are the people here. And these are meant to be people as well, but you know, they, you've got to put the two together. And because it's a flower arrangement, you can't have the people all the same size. So you get the cluster of people trying to hang on to the rails at the top. And um, this is the speed. These tea leaves are to give the feeling of speed. And um, yeah. So these leucodendron, they start high. This is a parallel arrangement, but it's also asymmetric. So it's an asymmetric triangle to give the feeling of speed. And the asymmetric bit is straight down a bit here and then you cut down here. Well, the elements that I picked were the snow with my white um, carnation. And there's a blob, which is uh, actually uh, some ground that is showing. And I interpreted that with uh, some uh, slips my mind. But at any rate, they were exactly the shade of the soil. So that was uh, an adjunct. And of course, the sky with the uh, beautiful blue flowers. <laughs> 